Hello, my name is Jim McKeith. I'm the lead worldwide developer evangelist from Barcadera Technologies, and I'm here to tell you there's never been a better time to be a Delphi developer. For years, Delphi has been the best tool for building Windows applications. It made it easy to build great user interfaces, build apps that perform really, really well, connected to databases or any kind of data storage you needed to access, and it did it all in a wonderful to read language. Now Delphi is about that same advantage, those same benefits, to multiple devices. So you can build a Delphi app for Windows, iOS, OS X, and Android. All the main platforms, all the platforms you want to support are now supported by Delphi. So that means you can build an app for Windows and then have that same app, if you want to, run on an iPhone. Now it's not going to look like a Windows app on iPhone. It's going to use its smart styles and Fire UI and look like an iPhone application because it is an iPhone application. And it will take advantage of the different screen sizes. So if it's iPhone 6 Plus, or if you have a regular size Android device, that same app will adapt and look good on both platforms. On Android, it's an Android app with all the features you expect to have an Android app. On iPhone, it behaves like an Android iPhone app. Behaves like an iPhone app because it is an iPhone app. And then also, if you want to support tablets, whether it be an Android tablet or an iPhone, ta or not iPhone, an iOS tablet, you can do that as well. That same user interface can adapt to look good on all platforms. But then the great thing is, because Delphi is a low-level development tool that has all these high-level features, you can still be productive and you can reach all the other platforms you want to. So this is a uh, Asus. And it, I don't know if you can see on the back or not here. See right there, it's got the Intel logo. This is running the Intel Atom processor on it. So it's a few extra steps, but you can take your Android application and run it on a, a Intel Atom processor, now thanks to Houdini. Also, when you have new devices come out, like the Amazon Fire TV or the Ouya game console, both of these run modified versions of Android. No problem. All you have to do, hook the USB port up to your computer, and you're able to target it from Delphi once you have your USB driver loaded, just like any Android application. But that's the great thing is now you can build apps that run on your TV or games that you can access from this great game controller. So it makes it easy to get to whatever device you want to. When Delphi was released, it wasn't made to target this platform, but because this platform's Android and Delphi targets Android, you just plug it in and you're ready to go. Of course, Delphi doesn't stop there. You notice I have my uh, two smart watches on here. This is the Pebble, and this is the Android Wear um, watch. I actually also have the, the round one here for Motorola because round watches are cool. And these all can be targeted from Delphi as well. The Android Wear watches, the Motorola and the Samsung one like I have here, or any, any of them I've tested it with, show up right in Delphi. Once you connect them to your computer, get them all set up for development, they show up in Delphi, you're able to build apps, and deploy them right to the watch, even debug them on the watch. That's pretty cool. The Pebble watch, instead of building apps for the Pebble, instead you build an app that runs on the phone, and then when you have notifications, those notifications show up in the Pebble. You can also use the Pebble uh, watch, or no, what's it called, it's Pebble Kit, Pebble Kit. Pebble Kit is the uh, SDK for Pebble to talk to the watch as well. Also, you notice I'm wearing my Google Glass today. Google Glass has a USB port on it, right there. And with that USB port, you plug into your computer and boom, it shows up in Delphi and it's ready to go for you to start developing apps for Google Glass wearable interfaces. You have the new Windows 10 tablets. These are running the full version of Windows 10. This is the Dell one. And you're able to build apps that run great on this that take advantage of the Either Windows 10 interface you want to go with, if you want to go with the modern UI interface, you can do that, or you can go with the traditional Windows interface with all the great new Windows 10 support in uh, Delphi 10 Seattle. What if you want to go beyond just all the platforms you can target? You can actually talk to a number of devices as well. So for example, this is a uh, heart rate monitor called the Zephyr, and you wear this while you're working out or whatever, and it monitors your heart rate and sends it via Bluetooth LE. Well, in Delphi, there's a Bluetooth LE component you put down you specify the profile and stuff like that, and you're able to talk to this heart rate monitor and collect heart rate information. It's a um, it's an armband. It has these little metal plates inside here. So you put this on your arm up here like this, and the, what happens is your muscles in your arm, when you use your muscles, 
they produce slight electrical current, and some of that electrical current propagates to the skin. This picks up that electrical current, and then in turn is able to figure out what kind of hand gestures you're doing with your hand, and then you can send that information to the computer so that you can control your computer just with arm gestures from across the room. You've probably heard about beacons. Beacons are these little bitty, probably out here so you can see it. These ones look like rocks just because I thought it was cool. But they're little, um, very small devices. I've seen some that are even smaller than this. Usually the biggest part is the battery. And what they do is they transmit proximity information. So they just send out a signal that says, this is my identifier number and this is my signal strength. And then you're able to pick that up. And then based on how strong the signal you pick up is compared to what it said it transmitted at, you can determine how far you are away from these. So these are a great way to... Uh, add location information to indoors or proximity information. So for example, you could put this on a pallet in a warehouse and you could find that pallet by walking through the warehouse. Or you could put these in known locations and by triangulating your position, you can do that as well. So Delphi has a great feature, has components for talking to beacons as well as a special library called Beacon Fencing that makes it really easy to work with beacons that are in fixed locations in order to provide indoor triangulation of location. We'll start this one. So this is a, a headset that you wear on your head, okay? And these little electrodes, I don't have it on quite right, but anyway, these little electrodes on here pick up uh, electrical currents on your scalp that come from your brain. So as you're thinking, some of those thoughts, or those thoughts produce electrical current in your brain, and some of those electrical currents come to your scalp. This picks that up, sends it wirelessly to your computer, and guess what? You can use this input get this information from Delphi in order to provide input to your applications so maybe you might use this drone like you see back here in the background use the headset wear the headset control the drone I'll show you an example of that so this this is showing not this the signal we're seeing here is not Chris's brain activity <laughs> it's just the uh, kind of reception the electrodes are getting here so let me see if I can wiggle these around a little bit oh no it's all black all right I'm not going to touch it we'll just hope it's good so this is my application I wrote here that does the processing of everything. It, this is going to connect to the headset and then connect to the quadcopter and uh, send the information back and forth. And then I have another app, actually, that Chris has running on Google Glass here that I'm going to bring up here as well. So actually, if you tap the side and say, OK, Glass, show my thoughts. OK, Glass, show my thoughts. Did the app pop up? Sure did. OK, great. So he's gonna, his, this display right here is what he sees on Google Glass. It's really cool technology called uh, app tethering that allows apps on different devices to be tethered in real time to share information. So that's what I'm doing is I'm gonna share the information from the main app to Google Glass so that he's able to see what's going on. So that way he doesn't have to look at the screen, he can just look at the drone. So the first thing we're gonna do is gonna train this to get a mental image <coughs> of your brain sure. and then we're gonna repeat those commands to control it. We're training for rotate right now. Okay, so now go ahead and think rotate right and we'll see if this bar graph shows anything. There we go. See, it's picking up your thoughts to rotate right. That's good, that's really good. So now I'm gonna tap this button here and connect to the quadcopter. The quadcopter is gonna pick up about three feet off the ground and hover and at that point, Chris is gonna be in control and make rotate right. So if it rotate right, everybody can clap and applause and cheer for Chris here, so. Here we go, here it's taking off. All right, so now go ahead and think about rotating right, Chris. There we go, that's Chris right there rotating it right. All right, and so I'm gonna try, I got controls here too so I can keep it from running out in the audience and hurting somebody. Although it's got plastic rotors so it's not gonna kill anybody.
Also, beyond just all the cool devices you can use with Delphi, there are also great new books coming out with Delphi, and this is just a few of them here. This is Coding in Delphi by Nick Hodges. This covers a lot of uh, more advanced topics about Delphi. Then we have the Delphi cookbook, which can be read upside right much easier. And this talks about, um, has like 50 recipes for doing different things with Delphi. It also covers iOS and Android and OS 10. So it's not just a Windows specific. Uh, it is specific to certain platforms though. Again, another upside down book. This is uh, Marco Cantu's Object Pascal Handbook. This is an essential language guide. It has reference for a lot of the new language features. So maybe if you haven't used Delphi in a while and you're not familiar with all the new changes to Delphi, this could be a useful book to bring you up to speed. Or if you're new to Delphi, this is a good, good resource as well. And then this is the uh, Delphi for Android and iOS mobile application development book. It's, you probably recognize here being in Portuguese from uh, William down in Brazil. I understand there's an English version coming this, out of this as well, but either way, a great book that shows you how to use Delphi to target iPhone and Android phones. Um, Another new brand new book that just came out is More Coding in Delphi by Nick Hodges as well, just like the Coding in Delphi book. And it additionally covers a whole new set of advanced topics like patterns and stuff like that. So, never been a better time to be a Delphi developer. Lots of devices. I probably missed devices that are sitting here in front of me that I wanted to show you. Lots of great devices you can talk to, lots of platforms you can target, and lots of great resources out there for you to learn off of. So hopefully you're as excited as I am to be a Delphi developer and to be learning more about Delphi and building lots of awesome, incredible apps targeting all these great platforms and devices.